So here we are in Photoshop and we're going to create rounded corners. Okay, hi, <laughs> let me show you how you can create images with rounded corners using Adobe Photoshop. And we quick and easy way. I've got this image open here. First I'm going to resize it because it's really big. If you go to image, image size, you notice that it's 1000 pixels by 667 pixels. So this is definitely too big. Okay, so I'm going to resize it. I'm going to cancel first and I'm going to crop it to let's say 400 pixels by 300 pixels okay. and we crop tool I'll just click and drag across the image I know it's going to call crop some areas but that's fine uh, let's bring a bit more of this fence here and I'll accept the transformation I'll zoom into 100% view so I'll just zoom in this is 100% view there's the image now let's go into clean around the corners I mean, uh, this is just one of the techniques I use. One of the things I love about Photoshop is there's, there's always lots of techniques of achieving this in tasks. So that's what I do. I'll select the shape tool, rounded rectangle tool, okay, in the options bar. I'm going to set the radius. I'll set it to let's say 30 pixels as an example. I'm going to oh it's a trial and error, so I'm going to see if it's okay or if it's too big or too small value. I'm not going to worry about the color because I'm going to change the style to this one here which shows the stroke and no fill. So I'm going to double click on it and now on the page I'll click and drag to create a rectangle with rounded corners. Okay, Looks good. I think that 30 pixels looks good. What it does is it creates a new layer inside of Photoshop and this layer has a layer mask next to it. This is a vector layer mask by the way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load this vector mask as selection. So I'll go to, I'll hold the control key and I'll click on this layer mask here. This loads this as a selection. Now I'm going to copy that. So edit, copy merged because the image is on the background layer that's below. So I'm going to do copy merged and then I'll do file new to create a new document. Photoshop re notices that I've got something in my clipboard so we'll try to create a document that's the same size I'm just going to change the height to 300 70 dB is fine and background contents I'll make it transparent and I'll press OK now I'm going to paste it edit paste I'll convert um, no I want to keep it as sRGB and this is the image with rounded corners and with transparency behind it now to keep the transparency and around the corners of course I'll need to export it as a PNG file so I'll go to file and save for web and devices when save for web and devices opens in the top right corner first I'm going to do two up so I can see the original and the output file I'm going to change it to PNG 8 PNG 8 should be fine if you don't have any layer effects to it special effects okay well actually I can show you how to add an effect to it as well I'm going to do it really quickly so I'm going to click cancel and in here I'll jump to FX and do drop shadow I'm going to give it a drop shadow here angle is fine about to, uh, to 20 to 30 okay I'm going to increase the distance a bit and then with the size let's see oh no I'm going to lower the distance because I don't have so much space in the document here and I'll lower the size as well just a bit of a shadow now press OK you can see the shadow here and then I'll go file save for weapon devices and in save for weapon devices I'm going to export it this time as a PNG 24 because if you look on GIF or PNG 8 the shadow doesn't look good I'm going to do PNG 24 which gives me a nice beautiful shadow here make sure the transparency is checked and I'm going to save it okay and I'm going to call that uh, image just as an example save it on my desktop format images only default settings and click save and then you're done this is how you create images with rounded corners inside Adobe Photoshop thank you for watching